Welcome to round two of the Instagram Live Talent Show. Today we've got our final 10, our top 10 contestants competing for 10,000 big ones. Starting with the magic man himself, Sean O, blew us away last week. We also asked him why he does what he does. I, I, I'd love to be able to look back on my life and know that I positively impacted at least a person. Okay, are we ready? We're ready to go. We're ready to see some magic. Okay, good. Well, um, this is a, a deck of cards, and this is a kid who's been spending the last week trying to figure out how to wow you guys. So, uh, with that, I guess I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. Okay, deck of cards here. You guys are all going to be responsible for remembering your own card. So, I'm going to go through and have you guys select your own card. Uh, we'll start with okay. you, Haley. I'm going to go through the cards like this. Your job is to just say the word stop. Ready? Okay. Perfect. Remember this card here. Got it. This will go in the center of the deck. Haley, that's your card. Ryan Trahan. Would you say the word stop? All right. All right. Stop. Ryan, this will be your card here. Yes, got it. Is it Ryan Yero? Yero. Yero? Pretty much got it. Okay, your job is to say the word stop just like the rest of them. Say stop. Stop. Perfect. Remember this card? Can we see it? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, remember that card? Perfect. Everybody's got their card, correct? Yes. I'm going to find three cards without the use of my eyeballs. This is the craziest thing I've ever done, and I don't even get to watch it. <laughs> Maybe, oh. I'm going to say your card is probably right about here. Was uh, this it? Yep, that's it. Oh, Was that it? Oh, yes. okay. well, you can say it out loud. What, what is it? Eight of clubs, right? Six. I think it's a six. We'll leave your eight of clubs, Haley, right here in the glass. Keep your eye on it. Okay, Ryan, your card is next. I'm going to mix the cards up like this, and I'm actually going to find your card with one hand behind my back. No! I'm actually gonna push the card out and it's gonna jump over to my hand like this. Ryan, this yeah. isn't your card. This is Haley's eight of clubs. Which means that your card, Ryan, has to have been in the cup no. the entire time. No way! <laughs> he can't see. Ryan, you remember your card, correct? Yes, I do. Uh, for the first time out loud, you can just say it. Say it out loud. Four of hearts. Four of hearts. Ryan, check this out. Really closely, if I snap my fingers, did you feel that? I might have. <laughs> Maybe. Story of my life. But the deck actually got a little bit lighter. The deck got a little lighter because your card actually disappeared. I'm going through the cards. Stop me if you see your four of hearts. I don't think I see it. If you think I can see through my duct tape prison on my head, first of all, you're wrong. Second of all, I can't feel my earlobes. <laughs> Third of all, the reason I can't see through this even if I wanted to is for this very fact. <laughs> no. There's actually an extra layer of protection in the form of a playing card. Yeah. Shut up. Ryan, you said your card was the what? The four of hearts. Yeah! yeah. Uh, no way! What? No. no I'm, way. Dude, I'm blown away. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sean! Ta-da! Round of applause! Oh Holy I'm gonna be thinking about this for the rest of the night. That's insane. One sec, I'm looking for my mind because Sean literally just blew it away, dude. Next up, we have Dakota Striplin, who was awesome last week. Amazing singer. And we asked what his biggest goal is. My biggest goal is to um, create a non-for-profit for homeless people. I had this idea a while ago where you get professionals to teach them how to play an instrument so that they have a way of earning money on the street instead of just having to ask for it. But I want to do that through through music because that's what I love to do. So what are you going to be performing for us? This song is a love song. It's based on Brian and Haley, your love story. Oh, oh my gosh. Aww. Best of luck. All right, it's called See You in Austin. He moved out to the East Coast to follow a dream. Wasn't looking for love, but he found it. A girl from back home didn't take very long But a smile, he just couldn't live without it After hours of FaceTime, he decided it was time To put it all out on the line He said, I'll see you in Austin I'll text when I land I'll be there beside you, holding your hand there's no other place that I need to see With you is where I wanna be I'm getting Good chills. or bad, all or nothing I'll see you in Austin And they still remember that night on the beach The night when everything changed Have a house that's a home and a dog of their own and friends that are family Now I'm in 
in Austin, where else would I go? I'll be here beside you until we grow old And there's no other person in this world for me With you is where I wanna be Oh my gosh, what? So Thank you. good. That literally is gonna be like our wedding song. That's insane. I know. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm s I did not even shed a tear once in that entire Next up we got Kane Needs Chill, who turned into Kane needs to sign a waiver ASAP. <laughs> I'm serious. That's the request of my lawyers. I, I don't want to just juggle. I, I want to like possibly write and direct movies. Just entertainment in general. Like all I want to do is perform. Like that's all I want to do. Like that's 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 the end goal, I guess. So uh, today there's going to be a theme, right? Uh, and the theme is going to be food, specifically apples. The goal is to juggle the apples and eat them at the same time. He's taking <laughs> this next trick is going to need some assembly. Here it is. It's a rat trap. We're all shaking here. Jeez Louise. You're not even the one doing it. I know. The goal is to juggle these three items while eating the apple simultaneously. You guys ready? Oh, as ready as we'll ever be. Okay. How? <laughs> oh wow. My God. Oh wow. My God. wow. Unreal. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. Jesus. An axe on fire. Why? All I can think about when I'm watching him is like, he might mess up. I know. But he doesn't. I'm he like, never does. Don't. He never messes up. That's crazy. Hey, thank God for waivers. And Romanian yodelers. Up next, we got Illy Vanilli, yodel girl in the flesh. And she's going to tell us what it's like to join a talent show across the world. You know, when you're from Romania, such a small country, somewhere in Europe, like, you never think you can reach people from... USA kind of seems impossible. And I said, okay, so I'm in the contest. Okay, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna yodel. And then I thought, no, wait not. I have to do something funny because this is Ryan. I want to do something funny to honor his humor. <laughs> I've been trying to prove everyone that yodeling can be sexy, but it didn't really work. So um, I thought, what's considered to be sexy anyway? Like. Oh, rap. I never thought I could, but I knew I would. Be sexier than this, because I knew I should. But everything I think sometimes I do. You get me complete and run the mood. Hey, I don't want to be stuck, but I'm a cowgirl. I don't want to be sexy like a maker. I can do like you, like him, like her. But you can do it like me. Hey, giddy up, giddy up for my horse. I don't want to be sexy like you. Funny. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I love how she created an act to show us all the things that she could do. Yeah, That's seriously. pretty wild. That's so smart. And it's also like comical at the same time. She's not only Yodel Girl now. She just set the bar so high. <laughs> I get it that note. <clears throat> Next up, we got the stud muffins that are Crash and Adams, aka Crash Adams Music, here to perform a new single. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Crash Adams. And it's too hot to touch. It's a little too hot. 
Unreal. Oh, it feels so good to be Oh my gosh, man. Good stuff, guys. You guys got a whole band there. That was insane. That was so Thank good. You. Everyone's just taking it up several notches. Dude, that was live. That was insane. I want this guy to adopt me. Next up is Will Addington. Critically acclaimed pianist, self-proclaimed linebacker. We asked him what he dreams of doing in life. Well, I mean, I've always had dreams of taking my music to then, you know, taking it public. I want to make music for people. And that's always been a dream. And so any opportunity where I can do that or where I can grow my platform, I'm gonna take and just continue to grow. So good, oh man. Wow. That was insane, Will. There was a point where it looked like he had eight hands because of how fast yeah. he was going. <laughs> Next, we've got Janky Music. Janky Janky. He performed a copyright song in round one, so you guys only saw like three seconds of his performance. But apparently that was enough to vote him fan favorite and automatically advance him into the final four. He's moving on to the finale no matter what. Literally. Considering he's absolutely dominating, we asked why he entered into this talent show in the first place. I entered into the talent show because I saw it as an opportunity in order to put my art out there and see what people thought about it. It wasn't something I wanted to play or place top 10 or actually win or, you know, I just wanted to share like my creativity with others. And I just thought it'd be like a really nice way to connect with others. What you want, what you want for me? I gave you everything I had. Starting to think something's wrong with me. I'll get down on my knees. I swear I'll give you all you need. It still won't make a change. I'm crying on my feet. Guess I start over. I'll find someone to tell them that the word so they could come over. Let them in my heart. So they'll never be apart. If I just see you get over you, I'll find somebody new. I was nervous and I messed up a little bit. Janky, we've got some exciting news for you. You, my friend, won the fan vote, so you're automatically advancing to the final four. Thank you so much. Congratulations, so we'll see you next week. Next we have the one and only Caden Arts, whose performance consisted of making a beat using bread, yeah, bread, onion seasoning, a, a mug. He used a bunch of stuff that was just sitting around in his kitchen, and somehow his fridge contained musical instruments. I don't know, the guy is crazy creative. So without further ado, here's his performance. Gosh, Kaden, you did it again. So that's how you make a beat out of uh, everyday things in your kitchen. Unreal. Holy mo How deep is that fridge? It's a deep fridge. Next up, Ellen Reed Music, who has a really good reason to be competing. I entered this competition because Australia is in lockdown and I saw the opportunity to potentially perform to a bunch of really awesome people and expand my fan base to a new audience. Up, baby, knock me down. Watch me 
Oh my gosh, Ellen. Awesome job, Ellen. Okay, so listen up, breaking news. The night before the live talent show, Wyatt Nash, the guitarist from the last episode, told me he wasn't going to compete. And after seeing probably 10 billion comments, <laughs> I don't care, I'm leaving that in. Under my last video that Aiden Kelly was robbed of a top 10 spot, we decided to let her in to fill in for Wyatt's performance. With that in mind, I asked her if she had anything she wanted to say. Just, uh, I got a lot, like a crazy amount of like DMs and that kind of thing and like comments under your video and everything. And they are so sweet. Like, like I could barely find any like hate comments or anything like that. Like I got so like hundreds of messages that were like, I just love you so much. Like you're just so nice. Like please Aww. like post this on Spotify. So all I want to say is thank you so much. Cause like that means so much to me. And it was really sweet to read all those messages. I haven't felt this heavy. That was, that was so good. So good. I rooted for you from the start. I believe you. <laughs> okay, you can. Tell me, tell me I was right and you were wrong. You Say, show. I was wrong, Haley I was wrong, right. I was wrong, Haley was right. Thank you. And just like that, that's all of our contestants for this round. And now we have to pick a final four, which is going to be the hardest thing we've probably ever done in our entire lives. And we rated them on a scale of 1 to 10, which is going to help us pick the winners. Okay, so, oh my gosh, first of all, what? Mm, my head hurts. Are you okay? Do you need to My head hurts from all the talent. Adler? It just entered my brain and it couldn't handle it. Okay, so you guys have, you said you have two nines. Who are they? I have one nine. What's your nines? My nines are Sean, Magic Guy, and Aiden Kelly. My nine was also for Sean. And then I have two eights. I think I have, I have three eights. They're uh, Dakota, Crash Adams, and Caden. We have three spots that we can pick because Janky's into the finals. Aiden Kelly, three. I literally feel like she is the next Taylor Swift because she's writing all of her own music. No, she's the first Aiden Kelly. She's not the next Taylor Swift. Okay, yes, but. First of all, she had the least amount of time for this. She had one day compared to everyone else's five days. She doesn't even need days. time. Can we all make our own top three and see if we have any mutuals? Okay, yeah. So Janky is automatically on the next round. I think we should acknowledge. He even said on his live, he was like, I missed a few notes. I messed up there. I was nervous. I don't think that was like his best performance that he could have given. So the fact that he's on in the next round is definitely a lifesaver. He'd, he'd be in the discussion. But honestly, out of all the singers, he was like one of my top ones. So yeah. I, I think he deserves it still. He messed up and he was still good, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Dude, Illy Vanilli was so good though. So she was like creativity. so creative. Caden was so creative. Dude, Caden was beyond creative. Caden, first round, we're like, oh, he plays the saxophone. Mm -hmm. And we're expecting second round, he's just gonna play the saxophone even better. And then he, just, he didn't, he just he blew all of us song. away with bread. With bread! And with bread. onion powder. Can we say our top three? Okay, mine is Aiden Kelly, not Sean O, and Will. Do any of us have the same top threes? I have Aiden Kelly and not Sean O. I have Aiden Kelly and not Sean O. Okay, so I think that we're all gonna just fight on this last spot. Uh, okay, here's my thing Caden is on believably talented but i feel like once he got to the sax it was like the same improv he's so creative i i would argue that that's the most creative act By out far. of this entire top 10 but i just wonder like all he can really do is do the prefaced version of whatever he's gonna do and then he plays his saxophone with improv which is also amazing but i feel like i know what i can expect next time for the most part but did you expect the performance that he just did didn't expect bread bread came out of left field out of crash adams and Caden Arts, okay. what performance do you want to see most in the next round? Crash Adams. I want to see Will. I want to see Caden. <laughs> Dakota, 
was unreal. He was so Unfortunately, good. I don't think yeah. that we can advance him. We have to make that song like a studio yeah. recording. Breaks my heart. I really, really like Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think it's between Crash Adams and Will. Will, while it was insane, I feel like it wasn't that different from his last performance. That's fair. And I okay, but hear it. me out. Crash Adams is a cool band. They make really good music, like really good. Sexy as well. Very good showmanship. Good looking. Too. Good showmanship, good outfits, Hair. performance. Will, I'd say, is towing the line of prodigy. I 100% agree Will is a prodigy. Will is so good. And he really... Crash Adams, I was like... <laughs> remember, remember what I said before the video. This man walked into this room saying, Crash Adams is my last place. <laughs> Automatic. Go ahead and throw me under the bus. Dude. Yep. But dude, it's true. It's he true. wrote down as they were performing. They changed they my mind. They changed my mind. It's literally all <laughs> my paper. They changed my mind. And that is the type of meteoric rise that he? belongs and, in the And mind. an unbiasedness. You know what I mean? Dude. Will, if he would have done something that took it to the next level, like blindfolded himself, I think he should have done something else. And I bet you he could. These people were thinking so much bigger. Crash Adams had a set. They had a whole band. They like had a joke in the fact that they started on a couch, picked it up. Their song was, it was literally professional. It's ready to go catchy. onto the radio. No one else is there. You can't say that Will's performance, he's amazing. He just didn't go to the extent that Crash Adams did. I think, I think we agree guys. Yes. Okay, so our final four advancing into the finale, competing for literally $10,000. So real, such real money. It is janky music. What you want, what you want for me? Not Sean O. Ryan, you said your card was the what? The four of hearts. <laughs> Get out of here! Aiden E. And Crash Adam. 